Who was Hugo Munstenberg and what did he have to do with forensic psychology? The genesis of forensic psychology is usually traced back to an individual by the name of Hugo Munstenberg and he was a German American psychologist. Now Munstenberg was around at the time where the foundations of psychiatry and psychology were really being shaped and established and this also coincided with other notable individuals also emerging in that time including the names of the likes such as Sigmund Freud and also Carl Jung. Now Munstenberg was an advocate for the application of psychology to issues within the law and also issues within the criminal justice system. And in many ways, his advocacy of applying psychological principles and aspects really planted the seeds for psychology and forensic psychology to emerge as a discipline within this court and criminal justice system context. So in 1908, eight years before his death, Munstenberg published his book, which was titled On the Witness Stand. And this included a selection of writings and chapters on topics such as memory of witnesses, hypnotism, and also things around crime and the prevention of crime. And one of the central themes of Munstenberg's writings was that he believed that judges and lawyers didn't have the sufficient psychological understanding to realize how psychology affected witnesses, how it affected witnesses' memory, and even how psychology impacted jurors, particularly the influence of information on jurors' decision-making and their beliefs around a suspect's guilt. According to Munstenberg, the legal system worked more so on instinct and emotion rather than on evidence. And he believed that the system was characterized by flaws that went from witnesses all the way through to judges. And this particularly related to their decision making and also their judgments. Now, Munstenberg also argued that memory was fallible and that many confessions by suspects or information provided by witnesses was in fact false and based on tainted memories and poor recollection of events. So although Munstenberg was subject to considerable criticism at the time, particularly by those working in the legal profession, some lawyers did seek his consultation and he provided consultation in two murder cases, which one of these related to a false confession that occurred under hypnosis. So although at the time, much of Munstenberg's writings were his opinions and they weren't backed up by scientific evidence. As the decades have progressed and forensic psychology has emerged as a profession, much of his speculation has proven to be supported. And amongst his writings, probably the most notable things that can be taken away are that there is a fragility within the legal system and that biased decision making does occur, particularly by jurors. And there's also, of course, issues with witness memory and witness recall. 